So first let's start with the unboxing of this TPP light pedals. So we have first a uh, croquis where you can see the design of the pedal. I guess later we have the manual, pretty nice manual I have to say. I thought it will be on China but no, it's on English and has everything you need to know. The settings, the how to plug the pedals, even how to use the software, good stuff. And now comes the pedals, look at this, how good it looks the pedals. You have the brake, hydraulic brake. I have to say already I use these pedals so yeah they are a bit uh, used. We have the clutch, as you can see on the top we have the vibration, perfect pedal, very solid pedal. And we have the throttle also, a light pedal, you can adjust with your hands, you can adjust the angle, the position of the plate, typical adjustments. And later here we have the cables, yeah, the box is a bit used by me, sorry. So here we have the power supply for the vibration of the pedals and also we have the uh, cable, USB cable, under this uh, form we have the screws, black screws, and we have the base also. Well, and a key. Well, you have all you need to plug the pedals, you don't need to buy anything apart of the pedals. Uh, here we go. Here is where you put your pedals, the base plate, good looking. Behind you have the control unit. Um, very nice to pass the cable, cables uh, through there and everything looking clean. And also comes some superior stickers. Some stickers to flex you can put in your car and say you are a conspeed uh, enjoyer. And also a glove so you can use this for put your pedals and look like you are a professional streamer or something like that. And that's all. Overall good uh, everything. And here are the pedals already mounted you can see the cables goes under the base plate also the screws are hiding so yeah very clean looking pedals i really love how it looks very very clean hyper purple pedals Bam. so here we have the software of conspeed uh, so far we just have the pedals so you can hear do plenty of things but we go straight to what uh, matters for us well you can also have the update center if you need to update the drivers or whatever thing you need a language we matter for us is the pedals right now here you can select its pedal you can change the cure of the pedal you can select the dead zone of its pedal you see the brakes the pressure well, classic uh, configuration. Later you have uh, the vibration of each pedal. You can test here the vibration is working. Uh, for example, this is the throttle. I have for TC. I use erasing, so in erasing I don't have TC telemetry, so I don't have any kind of uh, vibration or effect. Later the brake, you can select what you want. I have ABS, which one when I trigger very hard the ABS, I have the vibration. I wish be able to fine-tune these settings because for me triggers a bit too late but hopefully in the future you are able to tune when you want the vibration to happen uh, later you have the clutch if you want a effect of uh, when you engage the clutch but also it's the same you really cannot set up where you want the the vibration but yeah this is pretty cool thing i hope in the future they make a bit more adjustments about this vibration because it's really cool thing if you really can make it uh, to your liking you know and later the cheat thing the auto clutch the launch control so basically you select one key while well, you have here the description you press the clutch you press the key you want i select one my steering wheel so you hold both and once you release the clutch you see it's going automatically I will show you in in the car, but yeah, you can select here the initial byte points and later when you want the, the clutch released totally and also you can select how much time you want this uh, line going down. So yeah, you can adjust to very perfectly what you want. And this is the main settings you have on the software. I think I'm not missing anything. So basically the calibration of the pedals, the vibration and the famous uh, launch control. 
Let's gonna jump into the car and I will show you a bit better how it works. So we are on a racing and I will show you how the uh, launch control work. Let's go. So I will do first start without the launch control. First gear, clutch, throttle, and we release just the, the clutch. Let's see, we get. We'll spin. And now it's gonna use the con speed launch control. So, first gear, clutch, and I press the hotkey for the launch control. And let's see. Bam! Perfect start. And you can uh, fine tune as much as you want for half or each car. Save the setting you want for each car. This is how it works. The con speed launch control. I'm not fan of use it, but it's there. I emailed racing about if it's legal to use. They say yes, it's legal. I just showing how it works. Just a small update. In the past, I asked racing about this software. They told me it's fine, but seems like now. Uh, on December 2023, they update their uh, sporting code. Um, I believe use this kind of auto clutch uh, is not allowed anymore. I'm not 100% sure, but I just want to let you know. Okay, let's do a small hot lap to show how the pedals uh, work. Lap around the spa with the Ferrari GT3 on racing. It uh, setup fixes. Let's go for it. Submit the corner door. Sorry. Purple. Wasn't too much. I don't want to open the lap. Soft track. Let's go to my worst corner. The bus stop. I do. Plenty a lot of mistakes on this corner. Hopefully, I don't overshot it. I break a bit too early. That is fine. It's a lap around the spa with conspit pedals. So, my final thoughts about the pedals they look amazing. Throttle perfect. I adapt to the throttle in a couple of hours. I was even one hour the throttle just for me feels really good even i didn't have to adjust anything the clutch feels like a clutch to be honest i don't use the clutch too much feels has a place where it feels like you are engaging the clutch and the most interesting the brake oh so the brake is hydraulic brake is just totally different than elastometer brake the way you reach the pressure is way different than elastometer brake uh, the feeling Let's gonna say it feels more like a real, real, real car, like a road car. I would say, I'm not saying it's better or worse, it's just way different. I took like a couple of days to really feel comfortable on it. I would say the downside of this pedal versus elastometer is how much you can uh, change the feeling because you just can change the force you, you want to put on the pedal and you can change the hydraulic preload but that's all you can change so you have a bit less adjustments than a uh, elastometer pedal but well once i get used to it i've been driving it for a couple of weeks in 
I would say one week I was already on my regular level. I was racing versus the same guys I used to race. So yes, just if you go for this pedal, you will need a bit of time to adapt and also be aware uh, you cannot adjust as much as a uh, elastometer pedal. I would say the good thing is you get maybe a more realistic uh, feeling of a hydraulic pedal because it's a hydraulic pedal. Um, that's all. For me, overall, the pedals are very good. Good construction. I think they are real, real competitors of uh, Huskemel or VRS pedals or whatever of these top end uh, pedals. There is plenty of them. I would say you don't go wrong with these ones if you fancy for hydraulic pedal. It's just a decision if you want to go really for hydraulic pedal or not. As I say, for me, it's impossible to say what is better, elastometer or hydraulic. It's just way different. And I will say again, the, for me, the downside, the only downside I see on these pedals overall is you are not able to adjust as much as a, a elastometer pedal. You have the vibration, which one is nice, and I hope they improve it a bit the software to let you tune a bit more when you want to get the feeling of the vibration. And that's all. Hope you liked my Pocho review. Regards, guys. <laughs>